Hey guys, what is up? Gonna be doing my monthly Luna pickup slightly different this time. Uh, unfortunately, last night I was trying to record the unboxing as I usually do, getting everything unsealed and everything. Um, but my recording was interrupted, so I was unable to use it. So now, um, you know, I already know everything that I got, but I'll just go through everything, show you guys the contents and whatnot. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, in the true video, I mentioned, you know, <laughs> unluckily, I was unable to pick up um, all of the whole set for the photo card. So I was going to start picking up four copies, and that's what I did. So these are one of each, but I did pick up um, three more of the solos, and then obviously three more of the version B with Chu. So making four totals, four copies total, sorry. Um, so yeah, we'll get into those. And then... For those of you interested in my other pickups, I did pick up Red Velvet, The Perfect Red Velvet. Uh, kind of a weird name, seeing as how the previous album was literally called The Perfect Velvet. So they only added like two words in. Um, as you can see, I have the CD out just because it's a pain to put back in. I'll put it back in once I actually upload it onto my computer, but for now I'll just keep it there. Um, then I also picked up Chang'e's uh, Offset, I believe. The album is called... Um, roller coaster, terrific song. Been playing it just about every day since it's been out. Um, I haven't kept up with music shows, but you know, hopefully, she was able to pick up a win because the song is really great. Uh, so yeah, can't wait to listen to the rest of the album. Um, non music wise, picked up Twice TV 5. This is the one where they're in Switzerland, so uh, the color pattern is very fitting for that. Can't wait to watch this. And yeah, it has like a smudge there, so unlucky with that. And lastly, we get into Lovelies, Always Lovelies, their summer concert from last year. So this is the DVD one, I believe. They're coming out with a Blu-ray. I don't know if it's out yet or not, but I know like the random goods that you get, it's slightly different. Um, yeah, so this is the one I have. Not sure if I'll get the Blu-ray one just because I don't have a Blu-ray player. Uh, so yeah. So we'll just sort of get into the Luna stuff since that's what you guys are mainly interested in. Um, I was going to go ahead, since I already sleeved up my cards, I was going to just put the cards back in, but that was going to take too long. Um, so we'll just sort of skim through one album and I'll just show you guys the cards that I got. So thoughts on uh, Go On's release. Um, it's, it's a pretty good song. Um, I think the song suits her voice. I'm not a fan that they sort of use too much like computerized effects on her voice in parts of the song, but the part like the chorus, I think um, she has a really nice voice, a very soft voice, and obviously I don't think she is like meant to be such a power vocalist, seeing as how other members in the group already are, so I think uh, her role will fit in just fine. Um, she provides a bit more diversity in terms of, like, her vocal tone. Um, but, yeah. So, she's also on the younger side of the members. Um, so, there's definitely more room for growth or for improvement for her. So, don't be too hard on the girl yet. Um, track B, as always. Um, or track 2, the side B seesaw. Um, as always, their side tracks are always top notch as well. So definitely been a really good track to listen to as well. Um, so yeah, this was uh, version A, and then version B. Just sort of get into it a bit. Um, you got the turquoise. Oh, no, not turquoise. It's sort of like an emerald or like a sea foam green. <laughs> if we really want to get specific with colors, uh, but it's really nice. Um, and then, as always, you know, everything is pretty much the same except for the disc and the photo over here. So that's pretty much it. Um, go ahead and show you guys the cards that I pulled. So let me see if this will focus, please. There we go. So this is um, from the version B. So this is her duo card with uh, Chu. So back standard um this is a clueless outfit one so this is a really nice one as well um back as well just the logo and then this is from her solo 
um, the version A, so this is one of them, and obviously here is the second one. So these are really cool. Uh, and then these are just the extras that I pulled, so uh, as you can see I was able to pull out two sets for her solo card, so that was really cool. And then thankfully I bought four copies because I barely made the cut on getting the second um, unit card, so yeah. And actually seeing now, I see most of her cards actually have a sort of blue tint to it, so um, that's kind of interesting actually. But yeah, as I've said before, I'm not really looking to sell or trade any of these for now, um, or I don't think any of the copies. Um, since they are essentially my top group now, I do plan on just keeping anything that I buy for the most part. Um, and yeah, I know just some wrapping thoughts. Uh, I was really salty that I couldn't go to the Luna study event. Uh, it was only for Korea, I believe, and that thing sold out in a matter of minutes. So I'm um, very envious of the people that were able to go. Uh, it looked like it was a lot of fun. I'm sure it would have been really cool interacting with a whole bunch of Luna fans and obviously the members. Um, I believe a good amount of the members went. I'm not quite sure if all of them were. Um, but, you know, it would have been cool to see, like, the, um, I guess, secret videos or the never-before-released videos, like, Jin Sol's choreography for Singing in the Rain. I know there's, like, a clip going around. I don't know if that's, like, the whole thing that they showed, if that was just, like, a small portion of, like, the overall clip. Um, but yeah, hopefully they do actually release it sometime in the future. I think we would all like to see that. And they were also giving out, like, signed, I don't know, like, booklets or something. Like, a design that Heejin made. So that's really cool. I know the members autographed it. So hopefully I'm able to get my hands on some of those. Those would be really nice to have. And yeah. Uh, if you guys, if any of you out there watching were able to go, uh, do comment below. Let me know how the experience was or anything you want to share. I would be more than happy to listen to it or read it. But yeah, so uh, I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. I know some of you have also been requesting a... Luna collection video um, that's definitely on the way. I was gonna do it, but I was mainly also waiting to receive Go On's albums just because, you know, if I did it at Chu's release, I would have had to wait for another update for Go On. So now that I have it, um, I should probably do it sometime soon before the last girl is revealed, um, which I think should be in like a week or two, maybe, if they stick to schedule, or maybe a bit more actually. Uh, but yeah, so I'll be doing that. I've got some posters, some signed merch from them. Um, I think you guys will probably enjoy it. And yeah, also an overall collection on just, um, everything that I own. So definitely stay tuned. I know I've been saying that for like the past two videos, but hopefully I am able to stick to it this time. Just been super caught up with work. And yeah, there will also be a sale video coming along, so definitely stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. Uh, but yeah, as again, trying to wrap up, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.